Having a Gas is the podcast that talks the great and the good of the creative industries. Today, I'm having a gas with Jason Brownlee, the founder of a marketing consultancy called Colortext. Okay. Well, there's, um, but we'll probably have to have a, a catch up next year and see where it's gone. But there's one more question I've got for you. And I don't know if it's an area of expertise for you, but there's an internal debate in this office about in 2020 and beyond what it takes to break an artist. And, you know, there's half of the, uh, I'm interested in your take as a radio person, uh, half of the, you know, debate is, oh, just get them on Radio One and then it all snowballs from there. And then the other half is, no, no, you need a multi-channel, you know, loads of touch points and, you know, TikTok would fold into that. What, what do you think, what does it take to break an artist? Again, a really interesting question. Easily put, hard to answer. Um, I think what, I think the issue about breaking artists these days is not so much breaking them in the first first sense, because you can actually use a brute force approach where with a big enough marketing, marketing budget, you can, you can break any really sufficiently talented, talented artist. But the record companies are really shy about putting that kind of like um, investment or bet on individual artists these days. The reason being, it's super hard to establish an artist, not just break them, but establish them. Because you haven't got the, um, you know, the album format, for instance, through which to market them and to generate big revenues. You don't have the singles chart that works in the same way that it used to. And you haven't got this limited supply of music, which made it so much easier in the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. Um, the entire way in which we consume music kind of militates against the ability to really grow and act from an acorn into a tree. I think that is what's making it so difficult to break artists because the barriers to entry into um, the world now, if you're a musician, musician, are very, very low. What's hard is to get you to stand out and to stay stood out when there's so much choice out there. I mean, if you look at um, Radio 6 News, it's really interesting, actually. If you look at their playlist, since that station started, and I'm an indie fan, I come from Manchester, you know, so obviously, uh, um, you look at that, 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 that station, they, they, most of 80% of their output is records which are no more than three months old, okay? So they're playing new music maybe all the time, interlaced with classics, great classics, and the classics are like 30, 40 years old. But the new stuff is brand new, and once it's not new, where does it go, you know? It's gone. They're not playing those records again until they're much, much older. So that kind of like is, a, is an interesting sort of um, parallel with what's going on, um, on, on on music streaming generally, where it's, it's easy to put a record out there, but it's hard to break through and it's even harder to stay big. 